Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zapier to WhatsApp in 2023. WhatsApp is a popular messaging platform and Zapier is an automation tool or automation story tool that connects different apps. So in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Zapier with WhatsApp. So make sure to stick by let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and sign up for a zapier account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser, make sure to go to the Seattle section and here you will have to type zapier.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll be taken instead of this dashboard to their homepage or main screen. Here, make sure to scroll down to read more information about the website if it's your first time in here. And of course here, you will find uh, or you will have a general idea on how the integration is made. You can even see what people are saying as, about Zapier as you can see here in their home screen or main screen. So if you have an account, make sure to go to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account. If you don't, you'll have to go and click on sign up to create a new account. You can even click on start free with Google if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating your account. So for me here, I'll just go and click on login. And for you, of course, you can do whatever suits you. If you don't have an account, click on sign up. And if you have, click on login. Of course, I have here option to click on connect or continue with Google. Of course, for you, you can connect or continue with Facebook, uh, Google, and uh, two other options that I forgot. So here, what we will have to do. First of all, we'll have to go and connect our WhatsApp. Basically, just go to this left panel and click on apps. And here, we'll have to go and click on search apps and type WhatsApp. Once we type that here, as you can see, we have no matching for connections, but we can add a new connection, which is WhatsApp notification. So go and click on connect. Once you click on it, as you can see here, what you'll need to do is simply allow Zapier to access your WhatsApp notification accounts. So here you'll have to enter your phone number of WhatsApp that you are using, of course, in WhatsApp. So enter your WhatsApp number here and make sure, of course, it's have the correct format and then you will have to click on send pin that pin once they send it of course you will have to go and enter that pin that you uh, that they sent to you here and then click on yes continue to whatsapp notification and the connection will be made once you're done now you'll have to go back to the dashboard if you don't want to do anything manually you can use this ai tool just here go and click on how to connect zapier with whatsapp so i will write a mistake with whatsapp and hit the enter button you'll have to wait a bit until the generates as you can see it should not take a lot of like time as you can see it's very simple so here they give you two steps but before as you can see this may not be a workflow to connect zapier with whatsapp you can try using a trigger like when a message is received on whatsapp send me an email or something like that if you're looking for an automation tool or automation tool or something like that so here's your zap you'll be able to simply do two steps step one catch hook like they're just giving you an example here you can change the event and the trigger or anything that you want so here we have step one like catch hook uh, web hooks by zapier and step two is simply send message on whatsapp notification so you can use that if you want to click on try it if you want to use this zap if you don't of course you'll be able to go and click on create a zap and do everything manually if you want to so once you click on create a zap you'll basically have kind of something like the dashboard but here in the bottom you'll be able to choose the trigger and the action and the trigger and action of course you'll be able to choose the trigger app for this tutorial the trigger app will be like an app or service that will initiate an action whatsapp search for us so make sure for you in this trigger you'll have to look for whatsapp if you want whatsapp to be the trigger or zapier if you want zapier to be the trigger then you can select this specific trigger event that will initiate the automation in whatsapp as an example or in zapier and this could be an event like a new email uh, or new message in whatsapp or i don't know whatever you want 
and of course you can even as an example after that connects or you should actually connect your trigger app we already done this so we don't have to go and do it again but if you still didn't connect any app make sure to go and connect it now once you choose your trigger and the event of the trigger after that make sure to go and set up the trigger options if you need to set up anything you can customize the trigger option based on your requirements and this might include some specifying filters or conditions for the trigger events that you would like to avoid or that you would like to proceed to and of course after setting the trigger zapier will make like a test connection to ensure it's working correctly if successful you will see a confirmation message after that make sure to go and choose an action app as i said if you choose first zapier here you will have to go and choose whatsapp but if you choose in the first whatsapp in the second one you will have to choose zapier of course once you choose like an action app make sure to choose an action event you can select the action event that you want whatsapp or zapier to perform and respond to this trigger that could be of course sending a message or whatever you want to do and of course you then you will have to connect whatever account that you are asked if like you already did you don't have to do anything and once you set up everything on your zap make sure to set up the action zapier will test the entire workflow to ensure everything is working as expected and if the test is successful you can now turn on your zap as you can see at the top right corner here and to start of course it will start the optimization tasks based on the trigger and action you set up as you can see on here i find this all because and i cannot even click it because i did not set anything here an example here on the trigger and let's just choose like whatsapp here and of course i cannot or i will not be able to do this because there is no trigger available on the whatsapp notification so let's just choose here zapier why not and i'll just choose this of course this needs premium so make sure to go and get your premium of course here you'll have to choose the events i'll just choose this i'm just choosing some random stuff so and the action i'll choose whatsapp and the events i'll just choose send the message and click on continue here you'll have to sign in because as i said uh, for you you've already maybe make it and of course here make sure to enter everything about the trigger that you want so everything that you need and you'll be good to go and if you did reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully connected zapier to whatsapp in 2023 with this integration you can automate various tasks involving whatsapp and make communication with more efficiency remember to regularly review and monitor your zaps to ensure they are functioning as intended so that's going to be it for me today if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching.